Indeed, our God is good, and his love endures forever. Today, I'll be talking about goodness, the six of the fruit of the spirit. Before I start, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on my post notifications for my newest videos. Please be sure to share with a friend the word of God. Let's get straight into it. In the Bible, the goodness of God refers to his gracious generosity in providing abundantly for our needs and benefits. His great mercy and patience allows other sinners to repent. It also refers to his righteousness and holiness. Psalm 107 verse 8 says, Let them praise the Lord for his great love and for the wonderful things he's done for them. God is good and he wants us to be like him. And so he's put goodness in us through the Holy Spirit in us. We need to develop it by doing it. God wants the whole world to be filled with goodness. Psalm 33 verse 4 to 5 says, For the word of the Lord holds true and we can trust everything he does. He loves whatever is just and good. The unfailing love of the Lord fills the earth. Goodness in the Bible is not the same as what the world defines it. It is doing what pleases God, being pure, holy and forgiving, just like God. Goodness is doing the right thing for the right reason. Acts 10 verse 38 says, And you know that God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. Then Jesus went around doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. Jesus went about doing good and he expects us to do the same. He wants us to do good to everyone, even our enemies. Luke 6, the verse 27 to 28 says, But to who who is willing to listen, I say, love your enemies. Do good to everyone who hates you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who hurt you. He also tells us in Luke 6, the verse 32 to 33, that if you love only the people who love you, why should you get credit for that? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to the people who only do good to you, why should you get credit for that? Even sinners do that much. We don't do good because we get a reward for it, but out of the love of God in us. Romans 12, the verse 21 say, Don't let evil conquer you, but conquer evil with good. So by doing good, you'll be able to conquer evil in this world. Amen. How do we show goodness? We show goodness when we live lives that please God. We put his love and righteousness in action when we're gracious, forgiven and generous. So acts of generosity are giving to the poor, visiting the sick, volunteering, praying for people and sharing the word of God, etc. As others see the good things that we're doing, they will praise our Father in heaven and will be able to win them to Christ. Matthew 5 the verse 16 says, In the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see, so that everyone will praise your heavenly Father. We cannot do it by our own strength. James 1 the verse 17 says, Every good and perfect gift is from above coming from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. Our goodness comes from God. It is the Holy Spirit who works this in us. Amen. Let's always remember God's goodness towards us and reach out to help. He has been good to us and he's always good to us. He has given us salvation in Christ Jesus. He's given us air to breathe freely, supplies to all our needs, etc. Galatians 6 verse 9 to 10 says, So let us not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we reap a harvest of blessing if we do not give up. Therefore, whenever we have the opportunity, we should do good to everyone, especially those who are in the family of faith. God bless you. Be transformed by the name of your mind. It's Transformation Good Kazan.